Hi, it's Kate and it's time for another craft. If Kate can do it, you can do it. Today we're doing Valentine's Day cards. Kathy's going to zoom in here so she can get a good look at it. So in your kit, you have two sheets of cardstock to fold in half to make a card or for cutting hearts or shapes out a large cardstock heart, four smaller watercolor hearts, assorted stickers, heart doilies, color cardstock, cardstock scraps, scrap paper for making heart templates, and a five by seven envelope. Optionally, you, if you and your big person are both agreed that you want to have glitter, you can ask us for glitter and we will include it with your kit. Um, and if you need a glue stick, please let us know and we will include that in your kit. Okay, so let's look at these things, shall we? The cardstock that was mentioned is here. There's a couple of sheets of that. Many pieces of cardstock scraps that you can make beautiful things out of for your card. A beautiful heart made from cardstock and an envelope. Now the envelope is something that we need to talk about. This envelope happens to be five by seven. If you fold one of your cardstock sheets in half and make a beautiful card for whoever you want to make it for, maybe you want to make it for me, that would be lovely. It's not going to fit in this envelope. So, be sure that your card is going to fit in the envelope before you get carried away decorating it. One way you can do this is by making it half that size, by folding it in half again, so that you have a card that either opens this way or this way. Or, you could actually cut the card in half and have two cards that open this way. And these cards would definitely fit in the envelope that's provided. The big heart is not going to fit in the envelope that's provided. So you might want to bear that in mind. Um, and do something different with that heart. Maybe just make a Valentine to hand to somebody with a big heart. Okay, one another thing that uh, Miss Kelly and Miss Leanne thought that you might, did I say that they were the ones who put this together? I don't think you did, okay, but they Ms. did a good job. They did. This week it's Miss Kelly and Miss Le Leanne working together. Um, another thing that they thought would be fun to do would be to make a heart template. And they've provided you with a piece of plain white paper to do this with. And um, in case you don't know this, uh, one way to make a nice heart, let me clear the way, Kathy, so we can see, is to fold the paper in half, as I have done, and trace half a heart on the paper. And it was actually Miss Leanne who suggested we do it slightly smaller so that it would, in fact, fit in the envelope. And you can make several hearts this way if you want to. You can make as many as will fit on the paper. And you can vary the shapes of them. But if you do it this way, they will be symmetrical. Kathy, do you know what the word symmetrical means? I do. It means the same on both sides. That's correct. So by doing it this way, the heart will be symmetrical. And you end up with this. And she's calling it a template because then you can trace what it, however many hearts you make out of the plain white paper onto the cardstock. And then you won't have a fold in the middle of your heart. It will just be a flat heart instead of a heart that has That's a fold. That's a brilliant in it. idea, Kate. Well, I can't take credit. That was Miss Leanne that came up with that one. Okay. So we've talked about how to make, I'll cut out another heart here so you can see that it works. No matter what size heart you choose, it's going to come out beautifully symmetrical if you use that method. Nice. Can you see that tiny little heart? Yeah. 
friends either. Okay. The other thing that Miss Leanne mentioned is there may be pencil or pen marks on your provided heart. So you might want to look at your heart. This one looks absolutely beautiful. But if there are pencil or pen marks, you might want to put that side down on your your finished card so that uh, the pencil or pen marks don't show. That's a good idea. Okay, so I think, well, we can look at a few more things that are in our bag. Here's our doily heart. Oh, that's cute. That's beautiful. There are some... Hey, could you put that on top of, like, the red heart or the pink heart? You sure could. Wouldn't that be pretty? Let me line it up oh, here a little better. Oh, that is nice. That's gorgeous, isn't it? And there are some stickers, very cute Ooh, little stickers. Let's see. Oh, nice. There are some swirly heart stickers in there. And Miss Leanne made beautiful watercolor stickers that I think she painted herself. She made stickers? The, well, they're not stickers. These you had to have to use glue for that. Oh, that's beautiful. But it's hand painted and it is beautiful. Okay, and there are also some sparkly things in your bag. Hearts and lips, it looks like. Oop, lost my glasses. With sparkles. Oops, look upside down. <laughs> looks like a big kissy lip. It does. That's kind of silly. And oh, this one has a message on it. Love bug. So some oh, of like them like those candy like hearts. the candy hearts. Some of them have little messages. Okay. So I think that's it for the craft. The tricky thing is to remember to make your card small enough to fit in the envelope. Now you may have envelopes at home that are bigger, yep. but whatever envelope you plan to use, be sure your card fits in it. Because it would be so disappointing to get a beautiful card all made and then not have it fit. Okay, I've made quite a mess here. That's okay, you're That's being okay. creative. All right, well, Miss <laughs> Leanne and Miss Kelly wanted me to share a couple of books with you well, that I love Lama, Lama might Lama be fun for Valentine's Day. This one is called Llama Llama, I Love You. And I bet some of you have read Llama Llama books before. They're by Anna Dudney. And they're very fun books. Llama Llama is a sweet, sweet little fellow. Or girl, I don't know if it's a fellow boy or a girl. I'm not sure either. Uh, so that's available. And also we have another one called Ollie's Valentine. And this book is avail available through Interlibrary Loan. So you, if you want to request them, you need your library card and go to um, the library catalog, which is on our website, and request the book, and we will let you know when it's ready to pick up at Lithgow to go That looks like a cute book. It is a very cute book. Oh, I'll, Olivier. Olivier Dunrea. Yes, that's right. Thank yeah. you. Okay. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Please remember to stay safe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks, Kathy. Happy Valentine's Day.